Remember last year? We bet on who can eat the most melon pops and ended up sick for the rest of the festival. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I spent half the day struggling not to barf. Imagine the guards demonstration. You just barf in front of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh mother, please no. That would be so embarrassing. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, hey, it's you again. Does she know about the melon pops? <laughs> no, she doesn't. No one needs to know. It was awful. How can you sit here joking with him? What? Those two bucks were bothering Lolly yesterday. They even tugged on her ears. They what? Boys, get in here. Is it true you were picking on Peter's sister? We were only asking to borrow something. So, you didn't tug on her ears? No. Yes. Peter, I'm so sorry. I thought they would be more mature enough to handle visiting another village. But apparently, I was wrong. I think you boys owe my sister an apology. I couldn't agree more. We're in Clover as guests. You should know better. Sorry. Don't apologize to me. You're going now to apologize to Lolly. She should be at the farms. I'm so sorry about this, Peter. They're just kids. It happens. Why didn't she tell me this happened? I think I decided what I want to do for the decorations. Oh yeah? What are you thinking? We could hang up a bunch of decorated glow lights to light up the grounds really pretty in the night. Oh, and banners! Glow lights? Where would we get crystals for that? Crystals? We don't need crystals. Haven't you noticed? There are certain mosses and lichen that grow in the forest and we just have to collect them. Maybe Lolly could even catch some fireflies to put in jars. That might be a lot of fireflies. Well, Lolly would only make a few jars. Hey, Lolly. The boys have something they want to say to you. Sorry for tugging on your ears. Freckles? I'm sorry, I guess. Okay, I'm sorry for being mean to you, Lolly. I was just messing around. Hmm, I'll accept your apology. Only if you help Lolly make decorations for the festival. Okay. Do we have to? Yes, you do. Thank you for your forgiveness, Lolly. <laughs> Only because it was so funny watching Moon knock you on your tails. Hey, how come she gets to say <laughs> that? <laughs> Serves you right. You stay and help Lolly. It'll be good for both of you to learn to make up for your mistakes. Okay. Lolly, if you aren't going to work, you can't stay here. You'll just get in our way. Oh, okay. Uh, can Simon help too? Do you really need that many people? Uh, I'll allow it. Only because there's not much left that needs doing around here. Until after the festival, at least. Thank you, Mr. Benny. I expect those uh, decorations to be wonderful if you're going to take my workers. Only one. Today, it's one. Tomorrow, it's half. There'll be no farmers left in Clover soon. Rosie, what are you doing here? Maybe I could help with the decorations, too. I have plenty of fabrics we could use. Don't you have your own work to do? I've worked double so I could get all of my own work for the festival done. I felt bad, and I want to help you. You could use Rosie's fabrics to make your banners! Hmm... Okay, but I'm in charge! I'll do anything you need me to. You've got a solid seam now, Lolly! I know! This is gonna be so fun! Mother's Nature Festival is next week. 
Which means it's time to prepare the guard grounds. You mean to prepare for the stage you need built under such short notice? Wait, a stage? What for? Haven't you heard? Apparently, Peter's inviting city performers to our festival. Wait, performers? We're meant to be celebrating our Clovers and their hard work. You want some silly performers to come in and take their spotlight? They're only coming in honor of Mother to give a showing of Mother's story. Can we even trust the city with a story? They attempt to change it every year, claiming to have found new evidence for her whereabouts or her children. Didn't Leaf punish them for their claims years ago? And still, they continue on! Now Peter wants to invite them into our forest. What if we get punished for their crimes against Mother? Leaf punish the city? How? Leaf knows we have only the purest intentions. I will ensure their story is accurate before allowing them to perform. How will you do that? Are you going to go down to the city yourself? What if they don't keep their word and tell the city's tainted version instead? The city will take any opportunity they can get to spread their influence. The city has been hurting from a lack of resources since Leaf has forsaken them. They wouldn't risk doing anything to threaten their relationship with the Lappies. They need our goods. Should we even be trading with them? What if Leaf gets upset? Leaf is not so malevolent. He would never want anyone to be seriously hurt. Our trading with the city helps keep them afloat. They'd never admit it. They're too self-absorbed to admit they need our help. Regardless of how you feel about the city, I think it could be good for Clover to hear Mother's story again. To remind us that we're all in this together. What if it gives them ideas? Ideas? About performance. No offense, Peter, but we're already dealing with one particular pink-haired lappy running around painting and singing nonsense. Do we really want to make more? My sister will come around eventually. She just needs a bit of time. It's been two years since Lolly joined the village, and she's more of a burden than help. She sets a bad example for the young kids. Her performance on the farms have improved. Barely. When I'm guarding the wall, I can hear her distracted, humming away and then stumbling over something or crashing into someone. If one clumsy lappy is all it takes to cause such a burden to the village, then maybe it's the village that isn't working. Excuse me? You're friends with her? Of course you'd say that! You're weak. Of course you're so simple-minded. She causes disruptions wherever she works, forcing others to pick up after her. It's not fair. You shouldn't be so cocky for a rookie. You shouldn't be so arrogant for a guard who barely trains. Take me on and we'll see who's really a rookie. Settle down! Peter, this behavior is exactly the type of unruly influence your sister brings. Just yesterday, Moon used her training against our guest from Buckna. From what I know, he deserved it. It's unprofessional. As a guard, she should have handled the situation better. I apologize. Moon is my responsibility. I should have trained her better on how to conduct herself. Ugh. And about your sister? I will have her shaped up for a trade by the end of the year. If not, I will personally call for her removal from Clover. What? If she's going to burden the village, she cannot be allowed to stay. I can't give her special treatment just because she's my sister. Now, back to the topic of discussion. There's not much time left before the festival. We need to work with some brother he is. As possible. We need to prepare food. <laughs> Moon, come with me, please. What was that? What? You're gonna kick Lolly out of the village? And you know those bucks deserved it. You saw how they were during the meeting. If I didn't say what I said, they'd have her removed sooner. At least now she has a few months. A few months before you abandon her. Why are you treating me like I'm the bad guy? 
You may have forgotten since you've been traveling for however long, but this is the way it is in Lappy Villages. Or were you and Simon kicked from your previous villages? Is that why you were traveling? It all makes sense now. Ugh, you should be embarrassed of yourself. They were right. I shouldn't have let you guys influence me. Tell Lolly she's no longer performing at the festival. Oh, now you want to take that away from her? She's been nothing but excited for her performance. She'll be satisfied enough working on the decorations. If the village couldn't get behind a performance in honor of Mother, there's no way they'd let Lolly stay another day if she played. You're a coward. If you're going to call off your performance, you're going to tell her yourself. If you truly care about your sister, you'll let her perform. More than that, you'll support her. This is what we have to work with. We don't really know where everything will be yet, so we'll have to improvise. But I believe in us. I'm sure whatever we put together will look beautiful, Lolly. Why don't we ask Peter what the plans are for the festival? Then we can base our ideas around that. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's go talk to him right now. Moon! Is everything okay? Why don't I stay out here and talk to Moon? You guys should go inside and get the information you need from Peter. Oh, okay. What's going on? The guards just had a meeting. If Lolly can't succeed at a trade by the end of the year, they're gonna kick her out. What did Peter say? That he'd do it himself. He won't even let her perform at the festival now. Really? It's not fair. It's our grandest celebration, an extensive parade in Seoul's honor. Everyone in the palace parades through each city, celebrating and honoring Seoul. There's tons of food and music and decorations. Everyone looks forward to it. You'd think we're parading around in Jupiter's honor with how long she's taking to get ready. I only want to look my best. I'll be taking my mother's place in court one day. I want to make a good impression on the cities. <laughs> Mercury, Venus, I want you by my side for the parade. Sirius will follow behind us. I hope I get to stand by her side someday. You didn't actually think she'd let you go, did you? <laughs> she hates you. If anyone should be allowed to go, it's me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Moon. I didn't realize you thought... This is my fault. I shouldn't have said anything. We can have our own celebration in our rooms. We'll make fun hats and we have an entire palace to ourselves. If you don't tell, I'll take you somewhere special. Hello, Moon. I'm sorry, what did you say? You keep doing that. It's like you go somewhere else sometimes. Uh, some of my memories have been coming back to me. What? What do you remember? It happens randomly. I don't really know why. I think I escaped from somewhere. Someone wants me dead. Moon, are you in trouble? Is someone after you? She is to be, she is executed. To be executed. I'm fine. Uh, they can't get me here, I don't think. Why would they want to hurt you? They blame me for something, but I don't think I'm responsible. Is that why you wanted to be a guard? To protect yourself? I only <laughs> want to look my best. Yeah. What should we do? Nothing. Until I remember more, there's nothing we can do. Unless I find a way back. But even if I could, what would I even be able to do? I'm happy you're safe. If you hadn't escaped, I would have never met you. Yeah. I'm happy we met Lolly, too. We're lucky we did. If it had been anyone else, 
things could have ended a lot differently. If Peter won't let her perform at the festival, we can have our own performance outside the walls. We can even invite Rosie. I thought Lolly didn't like her. I think they've made up now. Hopefully Peter will change his mind. They'll be removing all the training equipment soon, so I want to make the most of it before they do. Right. I'll go meet up with them inside. Mm. Okay, so we can hang banners all around the different booths. We should have lots of flowers along the path to the festival, too. Yeah, that would be really pretty. I'm sure Leaf would enjoy that. Listen, Lolly, there's something I need to talk to you about. What is it? Uh, just that you're gonna do great with the decorations. Thank you! I'm going to work really hard. Okay, group, we know what we're going to do to honor Leaf, but how about Mother? What can we do in her honor? I assume Moon told you? Yes, she did. I have no other choice. You could choose to go with her. Find a new village together. Go with her? Why would I do that? Because you're her brother. We have other family. She can find someone else to live with. You'd leave her on her own? How else will she learn? I suggest you stop encouraging her instead of judging me. I won't turn my back on my village. Look at her! So happy doing something as childish as decorating. If we allow more clovers like her, nothing will ever get done. Mother's kind of hard to do, but maybe we can paint the stage and make it look like water? Hey, Lolly! Hi! Uh, how's Moon? She's fine. Just had a tense meeting today. Do you think we could work on the decorations outside the wall? I'm not sure we'll want to carry everything in and out of the walls. But there's a spot by the orchard. We won't be in anyone's way, and it's nice and shaded. Sure, we'll go there. I think we did pretty great today. That was actually kind of fun. I enjoyed it. See, a bit of art is nice. I want to do it again. Some other time. We've got to get going now, but we'll see you again. Bye. Bye. It was nice meeting you. I think I should still have enough time. Rosie? I might have lied about having my work done. A lot of the Clovers put in requests for new outfits for Mother's Festival, and I'm a bit behind. Why did you lie? I wanted to make it up to you after yesterday. I should have said something to them when they were picking on you. It's okay. Why don't we help you? I couldn't ask you to do that for me. We'd be happy to help with simple stuff, so we don't mess anything up. Maybe I could try and teach you again. I don't know. Think of it like making decorations. Except you're decorating a person instead. If you decide you don't like it, we can stop. I guess it wouldn't hurt to try again. That's the spirit. 